Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's so good to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Simple Health, which makes birth control fit your lifestyle. Simple Health is simple. You go online and fill out a health profile, which will then be reviewed by a physician to see if birth control is a good fit for you. Recommendations will be made, a prescription will be written, and if you have health insurance, most likely it will be covered. If not, it begins at $15. A month. So there's a lot to like about Simple Health. The prescription will arrive right to your doorstep. There's no need to wait in line at your doctor's office. You don't have to go to the pharmacy. Your prescription will come to you discreetly right to your doorstep. And I've said this many times and I will say it again, this would have been such a great tool for me after I had graduated college. I didn't have access to my clinic and I didn't know where I was going to be. I was in the middle of moving. So having your prescription come right to your doorstep is such a boon. It's so great not to have to worry about any lapses in your prescription. I really like that Simple Health is a tool that can help you make decisions that can affect the rest of your life. It should be noted that Simple Health is not a replacement for routine checkups with your doctor. Follow Simple Health on Instagram to receive the latest news on women's reproductive health. If you'd like to try Simple Health for free, click the link down below or head over to www.simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy at checkout. Big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm going to be making a seemingly disarmingly simple egg recipe. It was sent to me via Twitter from at Feed Me Shrimp. Thanks so much for sending this to me. It was originally posted on Twitter by at Jaded Creative, who found it from TikTok from at Sunny Cuisine. I know lots of ats here. I'll put a link down below. And all it is is frying an egg by separating the yolk from the white. So you take the yolk, you put it in a spoon, you take the white and pour it into a frying pan, swirl it around, plop the yolk in the middle, and then fold the white around it like an envelope. So I'm calling this the egg envelope. Now, I was initially very skeptical because when the egg white is swirled in the pan, it swirls around very evenly. I know from my experience with my eggs, the egg white tends to stand very tall, and maybe that's because the eggs are very fresh. But when I looked at the egg whites, they're not frothy, so it doesn't look like it's been beaten up at all, but it also doesn't have that little bit of a, that white little curly cue thing. Forgive me, I don't know the physiological name. I'll put it down below when I'm editing. It's the little piece of protein that strands onto the yolk and it keeps the yolk centered inside of the egg. So I'm going to attempt this with eggs that came from my hens and see if I can make myself an egg envelope. When the egg white is poured into the frying pan, it does look clearish. It doesn't look like a batter, but it pours very, very evenly and smoothly which has me wondering if there was a little bit of water that was added. I don't know. The first attempt I'm going to do is with a straight up egg. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just have to make adjustments. But here we go. The egg envelope experiment. <laughs> so in the original TikTok video, they don't show the separation of the actual egg at all, which has me already questioning things, but I'm going to go with it and take an egg, crack it into a bowl. And I'm going to scoop out the yolk. And this is the little protein little thing that I couldn't remember the name of. I'm going to remove that. And that's what centers the yolk in the middle of the egg. I'm going to try this. I'm going to press my egg through a strainer to break up any of those pieces without creating too many bubbles. See how there's a part that's thicker? So I'm trying to break that up so that it pours smoothly because that's what I was really impressed with in the video. It pours really smoothly. There's no thick or thin part of the egg white at all. It just flattens out like a pancake, which in my experience is not how egg whites behave, at least right out of the egg. So that's why I'm taking the time to break this up. So the result of one egg leaves me about one tablespoon of egg white, which isn't going to be enough to coat the pan. Well, let's try it. I'm going to add just a tiny pinch of salt, get my flame on, and I am putting on a nonstick pan 
on medium high heat. And I'm going to oil it. They don't show that in the video either, but I don't want this to stick. And remove much of it with a paper towel. I just got myself a new gadget recently. It's one of these infrared thermometers. It's telling me it's at 320 degrees. We have our egg white and we have the yolk. So this is how they show it in the video. They have the egg yolk like this and they pour it in and then they quickly swirl it around. That did not turn into an envelope. They turn off the heat. <laughs> They place the yolk in the middle. <laughs> so I think this might work. I just need more egg white. So the heat has been turned off now. And now we're gonna just gently fold this around the egg yolk. I think this might actually work. This is kind of crazy. I was totally skeptical. This is nuts. Okay. All right, well, then you're supposed to flip this and then you get the complete envelope. But this is obviously not enough egg white to completely envelop and cover up my yolk. This is crazy! Okay, great, I'm gonna keep going with this. Let's take this out. I think I need a little bit oil, more oil on my pan because it's sticking. Why is it sticking? We need a little bit more oil, definitely. It seemed like the egg white technique that I came up with seems to work pretty well. So we'll do that again. But this time I'm gonna use two egg whites. Don't want to break my yolk. So remove the yolk along with that squiggly thing. Another egg. Okay. I'm gonna remove this yolk. Once again, press this through a colander. I think I might add just a tablespoon of water too, just to ensure that it's a little bit more pourable. About a tablespoon of water. And to just make everything a little bit more runny so that it spreads better. Let's try this again. Bring our pan over. Okay, so temperature. 268, 278, 286, 290. Okay, we're getting there, 300, 325. Okay, so this is the same temperature I had it on last time. Gonna do the same thing. Place this on top like this. Pour it on. Gently swirl the... Oh yes, this is looking very promising. Swirl the egg white. Yes, turn down the heat. This is looking so good. Okay, okay, okay. We're just gonna go around this and just gently lift up the edge of this. And place the yolk in the middle <laughs> and then fold this up around it. Oh my gosh, this is totally working. <laughs> oh my gosh, you lovelies, lovelies. It's working, it's working, it's working. Okay, the egg envelope. Okay, and push this on low, 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 low heat. Just because we want to cook the egg a little bit and we don't want to be too much brownness on the bottom of this. Okay, flip it. <laughs> this is amazing! Okay, just gonna give it a few seconds and then that's it. That is the egg envelope. Ah, it totally worked. Skeptical Emmy here did not think it was gonna work, but we did have to adjust the consistency of the white a little bit. Ah, there it is, the egg envelope. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, the egg envelope actually 
worked. I was so skeptical. I was thinking, well, I have to make some kind of batter out of rice flour or something for this egg envelope to happen. Nope, it totally works. You just have to make sure your egg whites are runny enough so that you can distribute it all over your pan and have enough to fold over your egg. Alrighty, let's just cut into this. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. Ah, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, all right, here we go. Eat the Oh, Fresh eggs are the best. So, so good. I mean, look at that sunshiny, bright, bright orange, almost yellow yolk inside. So, so good. We've had chickens for two years now, and they've been such a delight. Not only do they give you beautiful eggs, but they're fun to have just around. We let our hens free range during the day when we're home. And our neighbors love seeing them too as they walk by like, oh, look at the chickens. It's super fun. And they make the most beautiful, delicious, delicious eggs. Mm. So, so good. Just a little bit of salt, it's all it needs. So there you have it, my lovelies. It has been confirmed. What I am calling the egg envelope actually works. You do have to take a couple extra steps to make sure the white is at the right consistency, but it works. It totally works. So once again, big thanks to at Feed Me Shrimp over on Twitter who shared this with me. If you'd like to share something with me, be sure to follow me on social media. And also big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try Simple Health out for free, click the link down below or head over to www.simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy at checkout. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. So delicious, not wasting a bit of that.